Hello everyone, my name is Darius Young and welcome to Modeling Lucario Part 4. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous videos, uh, I apologize for the lack of videos uh, this past week, but I was at Boy Scout camp and um, one, I didn't have any connection and two, I couldn't bring my laptop, so I do apologize, but without further ado, let's get started. I plan to try to finish this guy as quickly as possible, so where we left off, we're going to work on the toes next. So. Let's do that. So select your object, right click, tab into edit mode. Now let's see what we have to do here. I know what we have to do. I'm making sure that it falls in within reasonable guidelines. And it does. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, the way we made our leg allows us to do this, which is why topology is important. I'm just going to move that. Move that. Okay, anyway. So, what we're going to do is hit Control R in the middle of this edge here. And then we're going to use our mouse wheel and scroll it up once. And then we're done. Because now we have two edge loops. And to make sure you don't move it from side to side, just right click and that'll make your selection permanent. Now, what we want to do is select these group, this group of vertices here. And hit G twice to move these down so that this uh, this like plane that we made on our leg isn't so sharp. So we aren't hard surface modeling. That's for my time lapses. Uh, just move it a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Remember, hit G twice. In fact, I'm going to set up my screencast keys real quick. So I'll be right back. Well, wait, is it already here? Yeah, no. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so now you all can see what I'm doing. So, did that, and I guess we can do it from up here too. It's not really. Alright, we can do it here. You gotta do it on the back too. You gotta round everything out. When you add more vertices, that makes everything sharper. Let me deselect this first up here. There we go. Okay, so that's good. Alright. So, now the toes. I made two extra edge loops because we need three toes, and now we have three uh, sections here to make those toes. So, what I'm going to do first is make one toe, duplicate that toe, and. Uh, use that for the other two. So we're gonna hit whoops. I'm gonna hit control tab, go to face select mode, select these two faces here, hit three and then go to the edit mode. Wait no. Select these other ones also first. Hit E for extrude right there. I'm going to hit G to grab move that up. G to grab move it down just a little bit more. Rotate it. Perfect. Now select these two faces. There we go. And we gotta scale this down to about there. I can hit G to grab it to bring it down where it's supposed to be. And hit E for extrude one time and then control left click over here to extrude it again. And again, I can I if anyone knows how to fix that thing where the window like jumps between uh, two different applications and windows please tell me because I I don't know what to do I'm sorry if it's bugging you can you, you just have to bear with me because I I can't stand it too so uh, yeah um, and please if you do know how to do it leave a comment in the comment section below or or maybe send me a link to a video where they see that right that right that right there that right there that, that I can't stand that I know you guys probably can't either. So, uh, anyway, let's move this over. G to grab, move this over again. Let's add some more. G to grab. Move it over. Okay, so you got that part. Now we have to make the toe look better. There go. Just select these two vertices, move these over. And select 
this one and this one. I'm gonna move these up. I'm gonna move this up too. This up. And this up. I'm gonna move this out. Move that back. Move that. And I'm going to move these right here. And I control B for bevel. And do my, use my mouse wheel to make another edge loop in the bevel. That's good. Now we have some joints in there. And I'm doing one more here. And another one here. Just so that I can do this. There we go. So that's Lucario's toe. And now we can use this toe to make the other toes. So select all these. Hit Z. B for box select. Select all these. Hit Shift D to duplicate. I'm going to bring it over to this side. We're going to hit SX negative 1. Whoops. Let me right click that. What just happened? Control Z, whatever I just did. Okay, here we go. Hit SX negative 1. There we go. And now, it's perfect for that side. We just need to move the vertices over here. Oh, yeah, hit Control N to fix the normals with that still selected. Now, go over here. G to grab. Turn your radius up for proportional editing. Just to move that over. And then... Hit Control Tab, go to Face Select Mode. So like these two faces here, X Delete, not edges, X Delete Faces. Then hit Control Tab, go to Edge Select Mode. So like this edge he, edge loop here, it's like this edge loop here with Alt and right click. And then mm -hmm. hold up one second, I can move this vertice or vertex, whatever you want to call it, I'll move it. Just saw a shadow. Anyway, I can move it out <coughs> there and out here. Okay, there we go. And then we can do that. So hit, so hit Control E and go to Bridge Edge Loops. Perfect though. Now uh, hit W and go to Smooth. Now I ch I changed my Smooth um, command to Q, like the keyboard shortcut, because it originally doesn't have one, and I think that uh, it's a pretty convenient keyboard shortcut so uh, in order to, if you want to change that yourself what you have to do is you go you hit W and then you right click it and then you go to it'll say add shortcut for you so click add shortcut and then just type whatever letter you want to be your shortcut and that'll be your shortcut I don't know if I've told you this I've told you guys this already but uh, Tell you again, just so that you all can uh, have that and uh, there won't be any confusion. So those are his two toes. Now we just need to add his third one. So in a preemptive strike, I'm going to control tab, go to face select mode, select this face here and this face here, hit X delete these faces, and I'm going to select these faces. Oh my God, I cannot stand that flashing. Okay, anyway. Select these faces here, and I'm going to hit Shift D for duplicate, and I'm going to fix these faces up so that they are right. Now, keep in mind, I have a portion of editing turned on, and I have it turned on to connect it, so when I move these around, it won't affect any other uh, free object while I'm doing so. Oops, there we go. I'm just going to move this middle toe here forward. Because the middle toe is bigger in the picture. Or further ahead, anyway. Not necessarily bigger. Uh, okay, so now I control tag. Go to edge select mode. Select this edge here. Select this edge loop here. Control E. Bridge edge loops. And that bridged nicely. Okay, now we have his toes. I actually like these toes a bit better than the last ones I did. 
Oh, interesting. Now I'll just have to do a little fix up here with this uh, edge. Sorry, what I did select this edge here and uh, hit G to grab. I'm just going to move that up here. There we go. And that's it for the toes. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> so, in the next tutorial, what am I going to do? Maybe I should do the tail. Tail is easy. It'll be a fast tutorial. I'm going to do the tail next. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to add an edge loop here in preparation for that tail. So, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe for more modeling Lucario tutorials and other anime characters. And I will see you all next time. Have a good day.